And as we come on the air in the West, we do have breaking news involving President Trump's embattled Supreme Court nominee. After an accusation of sexual assault decades ago, Judge Brett Kavanaugh was back at the White House today after about nine hours there yesterday. And new tonight, a letter from the accuser. President Trump saying today, I feel so badly for Kavanaugh. The president saying he doesn't deserve this. But the president did say both sides should be heard. Kavanaugh vehemently denying what he's accused of and is ready to testify. Until now, his accuser, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, seen here in a yearbook photo from back around the time when the alleged assault took place, had not said whether she would agree to testify publicly. But tonight, what she's now saying in this letter, Republicans have set a hearing date for next Monday in front of the American people. Democrats have wanted the FBI to investigate the allegations. And the president was quick to respond to that today. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off with new developments. Tonight, Christine Blasey Ford is calling for an FBI investigation into her claims against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. She wants that before she agrees to testify before Congress. In a letter to Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley obtained by ABC News, Ford's lawyers write, quote, a full investigation by law enforcement officials will ensure the crucial facts and witnesses in this matter are assessed in a nonpartisan manner and that the committee is fully informed before conducting any hearing. Ford's lawyers say her life has been turned upside down and that she will not appear on Capitol Hill on Monday. This as President Trump expresses concerns about the personal toll on Kavanaugh and his family. I feel so badly for him that he's going through this, to be honest with you. I feel so badly for him. This is not a man that deserves this. The president did not say Dr. Ford's name today, nor did he express any concerns about her or her serious allegations. But he has shown uncharacteristic restraint. He hasn't said who he believes, insisting both deserve to be heard. We should go through a process because there shouldn't even be a little doubt. There shouldn't be a doubt. Hopefully, the woman will come forward, state her case. He will state his case before representatives of the United States Senate, and then they will vote. They will look at his career. They will look at what she had to say from 36 years ago, and we will see what happens. Dr. Ford is now a psychology professor in California. This is what she looked like in her high school yearbook in the early 1980s. Around the time, she says, a stumbling drunk Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed at a party, groping her and trying to take her clothes off. When she tried to scream, she told the Washington Post, he put his hand over her mouth. I thought he might inadvertently kill me. She says a friend of Kavanaugh's, Mark Judge, was also in the room. But in a statement tonight to the Senate Judiciary Committee, Judge says, I have no memory of this alleged incident. Brett Kavanaugh and I were friends in high school, but I do not recall the party. More to the point, I never saw Brett act in the manner Dr. Ford describes. Judge Kavanaugh emphatically denies the allegations. Today, cameras caught a glimpse of him leaving his Maryland home for the White House. For the second day in a row, he huddled there with his confirmation team. Democrats say the FBI should investigate the alleged assault. The president could order an updated background check, but today he said the FBI doesn't want to conduct one. I don't think the FBI really should be involved because they don't want to be involved. If they wanted to be, I would certainly uh, do that. But as you know, they say this is not really their thing. All right, John Carl with us live tonight at the White House. And John, when we studied the words there, that answer, President Trump seemed to imply that it's really up to the FBI whether to reopen Judge Kavanaugh's background check. So what is the FBI saying tonight, if anything at all? Well, we asked the FBI about what the president said. They have no comment on this. But, David, background checks are conducted at the request of the White House. One was done on Kavanaugh. If the president wanted it reopened to look at these new allegations, he 